For this particular performance, I imagine my character dancing a ritual in an eternal cycle where there is no separation between her, the magic she wields, and the natural world. But you might use the same choreography to tell other stories. The steps suggest other narratives of spirits and possession, transformation, crossing into another world, a curse, a blessing, or a prayer. Accent down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Big circle around the front, around the back. Right hip, right hip, right hip, right hip. Circle around the back, drop down around the front. Figure eight, back on the right side, back on the left. Double drop right, change sides. Stay here, back up, spin on the left, accent the right hip forward, change the weight, ball change, figure eight, undulate. Sword dance. Powerful, elegant, beautiful, fierce. For me, it is always a dance of the spirit, the story of my journey into the unknown, a record of the battles I wage, not against others, but within myself. Fear, illusion, jealousy, hate. These are some of the demons with whom I dance. There is no ultimate victory, no decisive end. There is only each struggle and each lesson. It is a circular dance, a continuous search for ever deepening understanding. This dance incorporates elements of Eastern dance with martial arts and includes many of my favorite tricks with the sword. The last one is gonna go one, two with the hips, another broken body wave, one, two, three, and on that three, whoosh, both arms come out. So that whole sequence is going to go. One, two, three, four, flip. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, in. One, two, three, four, out. Welcome to the world of Kali, a Hindu goddess of old. Creator, destroyer, and mother goddess. She is viewed in some texts and by some cultures as dark and violent, but also the source of being. We want to invoke Kali's energy in this choreography. In order to do so, we must know a little bit more about her, and we must get into character and embrace this more nurturing yet destructive side of ourselves. We can emphasize these emotions through our posture, through our facial expressions, paying close attention to our eyes as they speak of volumes. Low arms for a shoulder roll with the right shoulder to the left corner for one, two. Body undulation up to down, three, four. And we're gonna start 
We're going to do a quarter of an ami starting on the with the right hip up and back and rolling up. And then we're going to do a belly roll up to down. The count on that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to go to the right corner, left shoulder.